Just woke up. Gonna get ready right now. I've been wanting to try something. I just like haven't figured out makeup for my face. Like I know how to do my makeup, but then after a while it starts like piecing apart, especially on my lip, which like if you've been watching for a while is one of like my insecure areas because I have a little bit more pigmentation on my lip. So it'll start piecing apart and it shows up in photos and stuff. So I wanted to try doing just like no foundation, maybe like a tiny bit of concealer in a couple areas and like setting powder to matte it out and then just doing like my blush and like mascara and eyebrows and stuff so I'm gonna try that right now I am super excited I actually have like a full day at home work has been like so insane so my room has kind of gotten like messy because come home throw your clothes off go to bed get up get ready there's just like piles of clothes and my space really affects me I've mentioned that before I bought a bunch of stuff to kind of like redecorate my bathroom and I've had it forever and just keep like I just haven't had a free day to do that and then also I just want to take a second to just thank the Lord because it is so crazy to me I've been wanting new bedding for forever my bedding that I've been on right now I just don't love it like it's not cozy it's not comfy I've been wanting to shop for bedding and like didn't know where to start Brooklyn and reached out to me and asked if they could send me some stuff and I'm gonna go open it and that's gonna be part of our little like makeover today. I just like, I still struggle with feeling like I'm not cool enough to be doing like any of this stuff. Like I don't understand why you guys watch my videos. I don't understand why people wanna send me stuff. It like makes me like slightly like, what? You know, but then also it's like so exciting. So I'm excited about that. Since I'm not doing foundation, I'm gonna try to like do my normal morning routine, which I've been skipping because I'm like, why is my makeup just like not sticking to my face? So I was like, maybe it's my serum, who knows, but I'm going to try to see. This would be so great if this works and looks good. I mean, ultimately like as long as I feel good, right? It doesn't really matter, but. I've been using this moisturizer too. I still feel like I just wanna like do some more research and find the perfect thing for like my specific skin. I fell off of like my routine for a long time, ew. And noticed like a huge regression in my skin. So I've been trying to like get back on it because you are not defined by how many times you fall, but how you get up. And I've been falling a lot, but that is okay because I freaking get up every time. So, and then for sunscreens, this is what I've been using. I don't know if you guys like care about this, but whoop, there it is. I'm trying to think if there's any updates. Oh, uh, I got my blood work back from my doctor. All my levels are good. I was like a little bit scared about like my like sugars. So like they tested for that. And if there's any concern for like diabetes in the future and stuff like that. And everything came back normal, which was exciting and kind of like pumped me up to like freaking get back on it. Cause I'm like, okay, turn like your body's healthy. Like you need to freaking get it together you know it's been hard like that's what i talked to my therapist about we've like dealt with a lot like we've made a lot of progress but like now it's like okay <laughs> i can't seem to like cross over <laughs> to like actually start doing action in like the opposite end, you know? So that is super freaking frustrating to me and I'm trying to figure it out, but one day at a time. I'm gonna do my makeup and see what happens. Wish me luck. Okay, um, I literally just did concealer here, like two tiny, tiny dots on my lip and a little bit on my chin and then I just did blush, highlighter, and then mascara and eyebrow gel. I don't think I hate it. This is maybe brown, brown taking, breathtaking, groundbreaking, one of those things. Like, does this work? This could be game changing for me because no matter how much I sweat or anything, like I have nothing on my face besides like moisturizer and serum in like all these places, you know? <sighs> Guys, taking care of your skin is great. I am like, I'm so happy right now because I feel like my skin is getting so much better. Well, anyways, let's get going.
to what we're doing today. Okay, I don't think you guys understand how excited I am to say this next sentence. I don't even know how I'm able to say this, but <clears throat> this video is sponsored kindly by Brooklinen. <laughs> um, if you guys haven't heard of Brooklinen, it is a beautiful bedding company. And what is super cool about them is they're all about like luxury bedding but not where you have to pay like an arm and a leg and that's my whole thing i have a really hard time spending money on the things that i probably should spend money on i'm like yeah i'll drop like hundreds of dollars on a lego set but sometimes when i look at stuff like bedding which i've been literally searching for bedding for forever like most luxury bedding you're you're spending close to like 800 bucks and with brooklinen most of their sets are around like 2 250 which i felt like was so much more in like the price range that I wanted to spend. I'm very affected by like the sheets or blankets I'm sleeping with. Like it can affect how fast I fall asleep, which I've been struggling with lately. <gasps> here, here, here. Look, look. I ended up going with the Lux. <gasps> Stop it. Oh my gosh. See this color? Okay, so like this is white. See how it's like this like creamy off-white color? Okay, so it comes with a core sheet set, flat sheet, fitted sheet, two pillowcases, a couple more of the Lux pillowcases, and the Lux duvet cover, which I am so freaking excited to try this. I feel like this is such an adult thing to say, but like, these have 480 thread count. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. They're like buttery, but not like slippery. You know what I mean? Like, you know how like some sheets, like you feel like you're like slipping all around. It's so hard. Cause like, how can you like feel it? But can we talk about the color? I'm so excited I went with this. I feel like everything in my room is very like dark. And so I thought it'd be cool to have like a light bed to just add some like brightness to my room. The process of picking out these sheets was super easy. It went like step by step. And then when I finally got to like pick the colors and I could have done like mix match, I went ahead and did everything this cream color, so it just all like flows really well together. And I cannot wait to get these on my bed. Before I do that, if you guys would like to uh, get in on this action, they gave me a promo code. <laughs> guys, I'm like geeking out. Like, do you know how many times like I watch videos and like I watch other people? Like, I don't even know how to do this, but I feel. <laughs> Just very blessed. But anyways, Brooklinen is offering all of you, the people viewing this video, $20 off any order over $100. Just click the link below and use code Taren at checkout. Let's go get these babies on the bed. Charlie, come here. He literally takes up like half my bed. Like I will not have a problem transitioning into like sleeping with a man if I ever get married um, because I like only sleep on half of the bed and this little freaking like five pound dog has the entire other side of the bed to himself. What do we think? He liked it. You like it? You want to go make a bed? This is a good sign. Do we like it? Do we like it? Yes? Okay, I'm sweating. Look at my makeup. Not that bad. Why is putting sheets on a bed such a workout? Anyone else? I finished the duvet, but someone will not move. Can I finish making the bed? All right, she is all finished. I'm gonna need to get some pillows to make this look more full and maybe a couple cute accent pillows too. But guys, she's beautiful. I cannot tell you how excited I am to sleep here tonight. All right, on to the bathroom. Okay, so you guys have seen my bathroom before. It's super cute. It's just like, I feel like there's not like a flow of anything, you know? This just looks super junky. We're gonna see what we can can do about all this let's get it bought a bunch of stuff at target i think i'm gonna go with this like mustardy color so i have like a rug some towels and stuff like that so i'm gonna put those on first Okay, 
Monday. She's coming together. So I got two rugs set because my feet are always cold when I'm getting ready in the morning. And then I switched out all the towels to match these like really pretty like mustard yellow colors that go with the rug. I organized this a little bit. I still just feel like I don't love this. Like I might try to look for some cute like shelving system. What if I like angle? Nah. I don't know, but this looks so much better and more organized. That looks more clear. And then I kind of cleared up this side too. So definitely looks a lot better, a lot cleaner. And I love the pops of the mustard. So pretty happy with it. Also, it's been a while since I've updated you guys on the Lego shelf. So up here, I have the infinity glove. Still love the little mini figures there. Um, I have R2D2 and my Nintendo set. Millennium Falcon, of course. Um, my chest set with Darth Vader and then down here just friends I have a few more sets to build but these are the ones that are being showcased as of now and then I got a couple new things for next to my bed so I have this crystal set that's really cool it's actually like a little cup um, for like when I get thirsty at night so I have something right by my bed and then I can just leave it there because it looks super cute I also got a new diffuser and it's like this like wicker looking one which I'm obsessed with and I feel like it goes with like the whole vibe over here. These two things I got on Amazon. I'll put the link in my bio if you guys wanna go to my Amazon storefront because all of those things should be there for ya. And then still got this little guy. I've had him for years and I'm obsessed with him. I feel so accomplished finding the little like tangible changes that you can do. Sometimes it just really helps to tackle those. And for me, just the atmosphere I'm in really affects me. So that's why I do make that a priority. Um, I'm also really trying to get back into reading before I go to bed instead of being on my phone, which like, I've been pretty bad at. Alicia sent me a podcast with the author of The High Five Habit, Mel Robbins. So I'm gonna start reading that. It is really actually fascinating. She like started this thing where she like high fives herself in the mirror and she goes into just like what that does with our brain because from the time like we're super young, that action of giving a high five it's just like giving that encouragement so when we actually do that action with ourselves it's something foreign and like how it like triggers this response that our brain has known since childhood to just like really be encouraging ourselves and being like our own biggest fan so i'm gonna start reading that my therapist recommended this book healing the shame that binds you by john bradshaw she did say like she didn't know how much this will like directly relate to like the stuff we're working on but I'm fascinated with this. So if any of you have stuff that you've dealt with in your past or traumas or things like that, this is something that she recommended to me. So um, I'll let you know as that goes. But you best believe I'm gonna be in my comfy bed after I do my night routine in my clean bathroom reading these books tonight. I am going to uh, sign off here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm excited to be getting back to it. Oh, and thanks again to Brooklyn Inn for sponsoring this video. And again, if you want that discount, all the info is below. Okay, love you all. Bye. Woo!